when they say, oh, these girls are funny, but are they pretty? It's like, no, they are, and they're funny. So I like girls that are a little lighter on their feet, women. You're not even supposed to say women anymore. You're supposed to say elderly women. You're supposed to say, take it out. <laughs> Sarah, what are you wearing to the eclipse? I think I'm going to wear a giant disco ball. <laughs> again? <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> it's black. It's a black tie affair. It's the eclipse in LA and it's a fucking bust because not, it's not even any darker. It's not even anything. And everyone's so ramped up like it's Coachella. It's 40% clip. That's it. 40%. Do you want, here's a fun fact. The moon is, the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, but it's 400 times further from Earth, and that's why the moon can block it. I was I... just saying that. <laughs> I was uh, thinking it. <laughs> blo blo blocking, out the, blocking out the sun, I didn't realize my wife was going to be leaving the house. <laughs> and stepping in that's of pretty good. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> wait, what bad. was I going to ask you also? God dang it. Oh, you know what? The, the eclipse feels like the only thing that you can. It's like saying you want to go to the Super Bowl, but you can't watch it. You have to look the other way. It's like, why are people driving the, the length of the eclipse? New York, you're supposed to be pitch black by now, according to my calculations. Are you not? I'm I, I'm like totally confused. I feel like <laughs> I, I'm afraid to look out the window because I don't know what I'm supposed to see. I'm also like. Is it didn't like Trump literally stare right into it and he like was fine? I think of that course. was the rumor, yeah. He just got yeah, he guess. just got he just got oranger. He just got a really Melania's good tits got bigger. We looked at it. Um, you know, um <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, no, but all kidding aside, it's I, dangerous. Uh, I did um, not know that. I think you're not supposed to even look out the window. Wait, I'm literally looking out the window. I'll put on my sunglasses because now you're scaring me. Yeah, you can't like, even you can't even be day. in your house. You shouldn't be in your apartment. <laughs> oh, I like you. Are you trying to walk with your laptop? I'm walking. They, I well, I want to find my sunglasses because now you guys are like freaking me out for some reason. There you okay, go. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> are you safe? <laughs> I, I'm sorry for look how big your tie is. I feel better. Now. <laughs> My new tie. Oh, <laughs> that's hip. That's little Diane Keatney. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? My mm -hmm. friend Celeste, writer on the show, got it for me for my birthday. I think ties on women are hot. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. So Sarah, welcome. do you have in your house what I sent you for your birthday? Literally, yeah, but my boyfriend's in a work meeting oh. in the room where the cookie is. No, I sent her I a just cookie. Open. No, you don't have to. I, I kept sent... the cookie. I didn't eat it. You know, Sarah, Boyfriend. that was from Plot one of the road gigs we did in my room. And I said I had a present for you and I never gave it to you. So I kept it that whole time. Oh, there it is. Look at that. And look what else he sent me. $10 bill. <laughs> this you is still... your boyfriend? You didn't spend it? No, no I sent it after her David birthday. <laughs> oh, did. oh, this boyfriend. This yeah. surrogate oh, boyfriend in a pinch. These are all my, are you in a meeting right now? Yeah. My boyfriend's hard at work. Look, these are all the dolls people make of me on tour. You do have an eclectic. Um, you guys. Wow. <laughs> Pee Wee Sherman. <laughs> cool. That's cool. It's like cute. Very, <laughs> no one's making Pee Wee Carvey. You have, you have great fans. No, I, I know. Don't, they, I, just get I don't it have attacked. that many, but they they're they're strong. They're small but mighty. Yeah, I just love them. I just have Garth bobbleheads. Can I get one more? Can I get five more? Can I get ten more? Cut it out, dude! Fuck you! And then they start to fight. <laughs> just Garth. That's, awesome. that's it. Dana, that's let's cool. get to the important matter at hand, which is one girl on TikTok saying something about SNL girls, and then we all talk about it forever. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Sarah, give us your strong opinion about it, whatever that is. Here's the thing. Here's okay. here's 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 what wait, let me make sure that my the human hand is in the background. <laughs> and I'll take my glasses off for this. No, that's important. Literally, like what 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 is she smoking? Mm -hmm. oh, like I, I some of the most beautiful I, I can't what? 
it's like, listen, I'm not funny, but I'm good looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> she, you're no, right. The, the the women that she's taught, like, she brings up women who are like literally drop dead, va 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 boom, da da da, gorgeous. Yeah. And I was mad at myself for tweeting. I shouldn't have fucking said fucking anything because <laughs> she said some shit for attention. Mm-hmm. And then I and then I was sitting on the train. Well, I woke up in the morning and everyone texted me. I woke up to none of my friends care if I live or die. But then I woke up to like a hundred texts from my friends <laughs> being like, ha, ha 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 ha, look at this. LOL. And so I was like, <laughs> LOL means fuck you, the by the way, when people like, text me that. They're like, Did you see this? Yeah, Aha. Exactly. And you're like, it's not really LOL. It's more like, I want you to see this. Yeah, no, exactly. Like one time my friend, I woke up to text from my friend. There was like a Reddit thread. I had like opened for a band in Central Park in 95 degree heat in the summer. And then there was like a whole Reddit thread of like teenagers telling me that I'm so unfunny that I should literally shoot my own head off. Mm. And that's what my friends send me. My friends don't send me like anything good. Yeah. So like I was sitting on the train just being like, I, I don't know. I just fucking tweeted it and I immediately regretted tweeting it because it's like she just wanted that. That's what people want. They just want attention Oops. for one second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a tricky one, because if you protest too much, it's sort of like, hey, wait a minute. We are good looking. You know, it's- <laughs> I know. And I, I didn't want it to come across as like defensive or right. like. Yeah. I, I, and then people thought like I was legitimately upset. And I'm like, no, I'm just I I woke up like ready to say something hilarious about grieving ugly. <laughs> ugly was maybe the funniest thing I heard last week. Yeah, it was so funny. And ugly does not. It's not out there a lot, that word. And I like it. I don't think I've ever heard it. It's a new word. That's why I did it. If I felt compelled to bring a new a word into the lexicon. But ultimately, I wish I didn't say anything because then yeah. it just made it a bigger deal. No, it's great. That's why we're calling you about it. It's it's totally gone away. That's why we're calling you about it. Well, um, also, I'm like, this got more attention than it's been like <laughs> every time I tweet, every time I tweet, like every time I tweet, like, hey, everybody check out this sketch that I made with my friends. So proud of it's hilarious. It gets like two and a half likes Womp and like yeah. two, yeah. <laughs> block, delete, <laughs> unfollow, like, ah, report. Yeah. Six yeah by the way, go, like, I just saw sucked. happenstance. I saw a, I think there's a delay on me. I think I saw Kristen Wiig, her monologue. What a stunner. I mean, just off the top of my head, forget it. And who cares already? There's so many combo platters on that show of just really pretty and hilariously funny. Funny's harder. You can't go get surgery to be funnier. I mean, it's really. Hey, wait a minute. Is it, is, is it okay for funniness to add to a person's hotness, not yeah. just men, but women as well? Because mm-hmm. women yeah, will say, I like a man who's funny, but what about a man who likes women that are funny? Yeah. <laughs> Have to be. Yeah, that's a, like Rodney Dangerfield is like the hottest guy who ever lived. Is he, was he a looker? <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to me. Yeah. No, you're right. The you're metric right. is so Oh, crazy. I tell you I'm hot, Johnny. I'm hot. I tell you I'm hot. Her. All the girls like me. Oh. <laughs> so I have not that's my worst impression. <laughs> I, I get too much respect. Too much respect entirely. Every time a photographer sees me, he takes a picture. <laughs> yeah, Every time a woman that way. sees you're me, right. she takes my pants off. I tell you I get a lot of respect. <laughs> how do you, how does she take your pants off? I mean Mando, you know what Mando is, Dana? It's a whole body deodorant. You know this. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you wanted to talk about that. It's clinically proven to control BO. We all know a lot of you with BO. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying all my drivers. It's just human. 72 hours. Mm -hmm. 72 hours. No. Do I need 72 hours of order control? Well, I do, but not not everyone does. One application goes for 72 hours? Mm -hmm. Lamborghinis can go 220 miles an hour. Is it necessary? No. Okay, let's do it again. Is it necessary? Is it necessary? No. No. It's a nice feature, right? (laughs) (laughs) 
like you, yesterday you needed to drive 220 miles. Uh, yesterday I was trying to get from point A to point B. I had people, I was delivering a package and um, the people had to leave and their guns were not, <laughs> no, it was not that. Um, but yeah, I could have used that speed. Mando's that doctor developed formula stops odor at the source. So pits, for example, my pits, package, they talk about packages down there. And Interesting. Heat smell great all day. God, and the next day, mm -hmm. and the next day. Yeah. Should I need it? I mean, Here, there's should, times. Should I need it? You say that. Should I need it? No. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yes. Yeah. That was good. So if you're on a long car trip with somebody who's not showered that morning, you came out of Motel 11, and they decided not to do a little quick cleanup, it's hard to tell someone, hey, hey, really? Come on, dude. Remember I've that had car that trip happen. We took? Yeah. yeah, I've had that happen recently. <laughs> you and I drove, drove to Reno once and it was like, woo. <laughs> but <laughs> you didn't have Mando, so it's fine. I'm not going to judge it. I always it. thought something like this, this should be called Pit Stop. That's not a bad name, Mando. You can have it. <laughs> All right. I like knowing that Mando's working hard to lock down the BO no matter what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mando's basically the Lamborghini of deodorant. Mm -hmm. More affordable for yes. sure. Yes. Uh, this is a special offer. New customers get $5 off Mando's best-selling starter pack with code SUPERFLY at shopmando.com. Mm -hmm. Whole body deodorant. Mando is seriously safe to use anywhere in your body. <laughs> it says, <laughs> it's <laughs> grundle and balls. <laughs> Heather, do you know where that is? I'm going to show you a clip in a minute. Yeah. Uh, let's walk out in the alley. Grundle. <laughs> There's a special on PBS about it tonight. Nine, Belly 9 buttons. Do they get reeky? I guess. Butt cracks, stinky crevices, stomach folds, and feet. Get down in that Chattahoochee Canal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you know. <laughs> Going for that area between the bottom of your anus and the edge of your ball sack. That's a good commercial for a family show. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice. They have mini body wash. They have deodorant wipes. Yeah. Uh, free shipping. Luckily, I have a discount code to help you get hooked. Yep. On my favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. Mm -hmm. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Wow. Dana. You superfly at shopmando.com. Shopmando.com. Yeah, that's code superfly at S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Oh yeah, Ryan Gosling this week. We got Ryan. Yeah, do you guys have any pictures for me? I have one for. Would I think you would be the perfect person to do it? I think Ryan would be the perfect. It's nothing really original. You can go. It's just you're a scientist, and he's like a head, just a uh -huh. disembodied head. <gasps> she oh, loves it already. Yes. She and loves it already. She. He's a little sarcastic, and you start. You kind of abuse him. You just slap him. Uh -huh. Shut your freaking mouth. <laughs> you know that kind of thing, and then. He's gonna break. <laughs> you make him. He will have to break. You save the slaps; they get really hard on air. Yeah, and he's gonna break, and then then you have you have a two million banger on YouTube. <laughs> and then bada bing, bada boom. Okay, he's a. I love this. He's but a he's head. a head. In he's your a disembodied head, and he's mm -hmm. mouthing off, right? And he's yeah. going like, and you're like, shut. Hey, you're like, you shut your, you shut your fucking head. You know, shut your freaking head, and you slap him every I time slap he gets him. he gets sassy. And he keeps mouthing off and he keeps going like, how come none of the women on SNL are funny or, or hot, hot or funny or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, and then you... I go, you keep talking like that. I'm going to sew this head on a chicken's body. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and that's the end. You just got to a frame of that. No, but then he, he stands up out of the table and he already has a chicken body on. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. He comes out of the box at the end of the scene to walk the next one. And he's in a chicken outfit. <laughs> And you're like, oh, I forgot to do the ending. So anyway, I think you being kind of playfully abusive, yeah. he's ahead. So, and he's kind of I sassed like it off. You this. make a head to make like the perfect this. man, and then you're only at the head part, and then he already starts mouthing off. And you're like, don't make me come across this laboratory. You stop talking. I'm not even done with you yet. And then Wait, you go, you okay. know what? I am done with you. <laughs> I have another one. Go. He he plays. Um, a guy yeah, with I want to go on right after the monologue. You're, go ahead. You're on a rat restaurant with him. He's really a handsome, nice guy, but he has a foot fetish, so he keeps dropping things and going under the table and like just going off on your feet. I got nothing about that. Okay, no, 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 no. Keep going. Okay, 
He has a foot <laughs> fetish. He keeps dropping things to so you know, whatever. So he just rub your feet, kiss your feet. And then I actually, then, okay, so then I actually start eating with my feet at the table. Yes. Yeah, see, and this is get, called running he, with it. He proposes marriage. Okay, one more. He's, you're Wait, at, like, I have one more pitch on that sketch. I want to hear it. It's your okay, show. So I'm just trying to help you. I won't be there Saturday. He, it's a foot fetish. It's a foot fetish restaurant. Mm -hmm. So there's a waiter who comes and serves you um, food at, for, at the table level. But then there's a foot waiter who serves your feet foot, feet, your foot, your feet food your at the foot level. Your bombing over here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep also, going. Also, no, I like that. I just thought, Okay, go ahead, David. At the I have table, one, but... there's a little slit on his side, so you put your foot up right in front of him. So when you're sitting there, you put your foot straight up, and it's right closer to him in the table, and then he can sit down and kind of kiss it. And then you pull it out. Okay, and go, uh, wait, wait, uh, uh. wait. What, do I, what about this? He shows up okay. to the date. Nothing's weird. Nothing's strange. Mm -hmm. And then I go to sneeze. I go, I chew, reveal my hand is actually a foot, and he likes that. Oh, yeah, that's And my bad. feet are actually hands. <laughs> oh, he goes down there and he finds out your feet are hands and then he hates them. And then he goes back up and he goes, And there's oh, no, little faces on the feet and then they all talk. <laughs> no, that was, you already did that with the hot dogs yeah. or whatever. My the ideas meatballs. are too normal. Hot dogs. <laughs> I have one yeah. more that's physical. Jesus. It, it's it's a nightclub. You're going you're gonna to dance with Ryan Gosling. Oh, that guy's so good looking, whatever. And he starts dancing. And then oh, just in a little bit of time, he gets real close. And then he starts to strangle you. And you're like, what yeah. the fuck? What are you doing? He goes, I'm just doing the strangle. It's a dance. Come on, let's go. Let's dance. You go, all right. And then he dances and he starts to strangle you. I have nothing else. <laughs> okay. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> love it. And then I start doing the trip. I stick my foot out and he trips over it. Yeah. And, and then we both the um, go get like so world famous from the dance moves we invented that like literally I get um, killed. And then um, someone goes, that was the other new dance move. All right. Mine are more for the Monday meeting that you don't write. Okay. This oh, is fake ones. Yeah. That'll fake never ones. get produced. Fake ones that just because there's not, they're not weird enough for Sarah, mm -hmm. but they're just sort of stupid. You say it's a, it's a gritty okay. cop show set in New Orleans and you all play gritty cops. And in the Monday morning gritty meeting, everyone has a different New Orleans accent. It's all bad. <laughs> so everyone says their their accent is wrong. And they because I just played New Orleans and I said New Orleans on stage and they go, boo. And I go, would it be worse if I came up here and went, Nolans? Like I'm trying to really blend that would be in. Insane. Yeah. And then I said, No, is it New Orleans? And they're like, Don't say every fucking letter in it. I'm like, Well, that's what it's spelled. And then so I had to go, I had to find a happy medium and go, New Orleans. And then there was a couple ways. No, to go then with you that. just get it down to irons, irons. Yeah, I'm from irons. You even drop and, the nouns. And someone just goes, does a Chinese accent, just to, and then they, they're like, that's you're way off. And so, okay, do you that's guys what, actually. Do you want to workshop the pitch that I was actually going to do? Yeah, today? kick it yes. out. Okay, just tell me if this is good. So maybe um, <laughs> everyone thinks that you went blind from the eclipse because you show up. <laughs> To work dressed like me and you yeah. go oh i thought all these things matched <laughs> that's your excuse because <laughs> you went blind or the people went blind no i'm oh sorry okay so i'm pitching ryan goss yeah i'm looking like this yeah okay yeah. and i go maybe you show up to work dressed like this yeah in the sketch and everyone thinks that you went blind looking at the eclipse because <laughs> oh, you're okay because you look so stupid <laughs> Because you yeah. dressed yourself so poorly, <laughs> clearly yeah. you can't see. Yep, I like it. And clearly the joke was so good that um, I had to repeat it twice to kind of get the... Yeah. Now, can you orientate me in the room? Where's he well, sitting I during the this the sunglasses pitch? were Ray Charles thing. I thought you were going with the sunglasses. <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Here's a weekend update yeah. bit for you. Ready? You show the weather mm -hmm. report. You go, speaking of eclipses, I have a, I have a real beef with the sun right now. And then they go, oh, what's that? And then you go, here's a weather report. It has, it's sunny all week and the sun has sunglasses. And you go, why would the sun have sunglasses? The only thing that doesn't need sunglasses, <laughs> it's going that way. Does anyone understand me? Why is no one talking uh, about this? Why are we trying to bury these stories? Why am I, do you think classic. I'm a, do you think I'm a, a conspiracy theorist? fucking oh. classic. 
<sighs> All right. Well, we got your whole show written. Bowen did the iceberg, and now you have a lot of cast members' things on their head and stuff. Oh, but yeah, you go out as the sun with sunglasses and go, what, what was everyone's problem? Okay, okay, wait, 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 I got one. I got one. No one's going okay, anywhere. Maybe. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, we, we have nothing hey, else to do. <laughs> buckle up. Okay. Put your helmets on. Put your sunglasses on. Because this is going to be a scorcher. You go, <laughs> okay, okay. You go, the, the son from the Teletubbies is played by a baby. Um, I'm sorry. Doesn't the sun actually pre-exist planet Earth? Why would it be played by a baby? Seems a little young. Yeah, you, you know, you have a lot of sun facts. You go, Colin, I'll hit you with another one. Yeah, I mean, you're fucking reeling from this one, but guess what? Why does the sun wear sunglasses? You go, there's a lot of things that people aren't talking about right now. And there's a lot of things that are everyone's sweeping under the rug. The eclipse, really, the sun doesn't do jack shit, to be honest. The moon does all the work. Does the sun know it's been eclipsed and does it care? <laughs> is it offended? Is Aww. it uh, profiling? Yeah. What is it? Is Just it... do a New York accent as the sun. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't even know what was going on. I can't even see you guys. What? Oh, 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 yes. oh you have a yes. question? Sarah? Sarah. I'm raising my hand. Go ahead. Okay. So I know the earth is flat, but is the sun? I mean, she's got those big knockers. She couldn't possibly be. <laughs> What knockers? <laughs> what? No, I know where you're going. I get it. The Did sun is the stacked. Yeah. yeah. Stacked. That, when did stacked go out? She's really stacked. Is that 1968 yeah. or something? I don't what know. happened to Bazongas? People just say big tits or boobs. Yeah, know? it's lazy. People call them boobs. It it's is. lazy offensiveness. My mom and my grandma and my aunt Rack. call them bubbies. Bubbies. Hmm. Like when I turned 15, I, got, I grew bubbies. Let's look at a clip. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Ryan Gosling is Hunter Biden. He looks like him kind of in a hot tub doing a talk show from a hot tub. And he has strippers in the tub with him. And the guests, okay. have, the guests have to come in the water with him. Mm-hmm. And they then you guys all smoke crack. <laughs> all ple- yeah. I mean, what do yeah, you guys have it's there? It's physical and silly. You want Ryan to be ridiculous. Ryan mm-hmm. is good looking. What if it's Barbie and Ken in the future and they run into each other and it's gone south for one of them? You think it'd be open to Barbie and Ken stuff? Like, or he fucking maybe better like be. Not wanna- He's better. like, oh, please, yeah, let's like- not talk about the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> You know what's funny about Dana's pitch about um, making him break? I, it just made me think, like, it's so funny. Like, anytime a host is like, oh, my God, I love this sketch. Like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it with a straight face. I'm, like, totally going to break. That's, like, always when they never break. <laughs> and, and they cut it <laughs> right. quietly after dress. Their expectations yeah. are so high and they don't realize they're going to do it six times before air. That's why this yeah. one has a yeah. secret Easter egg that you'll do these little slaps all week and yeah. then they'll get. And on the air show, it's you a bring little out Chris a two Farley, by four and you really slap him too hard. And in the audience, he knows it. And he's like, because he kind of he or right in the middle of one of his you, lines. Or you start making out with him. Yeah. I At the end, that's it. You say, now. oh, the hell with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, excuse him. me. Damn it, I'm in love with you. And then you just grab his head and start forcing, <laughs> kissing him. There you go. You go, go I'm changing go. the sketch in the middle. You see that coming. I'm just going to make out with you for 10 minutes. <laughs> and he's like, Come wait. here, your head. I'm in love with you, head. And then okay, you start wait. making out with him. We have to let Sarah go to go to her laundry. So let's, let's, we're, we have one advice question that we do on the show. Someone we don't know asking for advice. Will you just stay and help answer? It'll take you five seconds. Okay, this is the question. Oh, he's a younger guy. Let me put my glasses on. Yeah, you should. Okay. He might sneak in an eclipse. And Hi, what? Dana and David. I need advice. Um, I am getting married soon. I'll be 21 at my wedding, so I'll say I'm 21 now. Oh, whoa. Uh, mm-hmm. And I need to know how to keep my wife thinking that I'm funny forever. Um, because she thinks I'm funny now, and that's one of the major things I have going for me. So I'd appreciate your feedback, and thank you. <laughs> that's a good question, Sarah. Uh, hmm. Uh, that's like that's actually really uh, as someone who's never made a host break. Hmm, let me think. Let me think. How do you stay funny? 
How do you say funny from rehearsal to from run through to dress to air? Yeah. How do you stay funny through 50 years of marriage? Yeah, I can't say well, funny from surprise. read through. Yeah, you're you right. You only want to be just as funny to keep the sketch moving through the machine to get to air, but you never, you want to make sure on air for Ryan, it's all different. This thing, unfortunately, is coming out Friday. So if you actually go with this sketch, we'll cut this from our podcast and show it on the follow because <laughs> it will ruin everything if you want to do it. I know that you and maybe Dan would do something. You know, you would do your thing with it. You can but take any nugget just Ryan's of an idea head with you it. control. Ryan is ahead and you as the scientist. Yeah. And then we right. break the fourth wall Harvey and all the Sherman Bulla. All the cast members walk in and just make out with him while he's stuck there during the sketch. And maybe a I, few contest winners. Before Sarah goes, I want to do a five second impression. Well, we really dumped this, this kid is, off, didn't we? This advice. No, I, think I that's, said element of surprise. Oh, well, I would say I've surprising. been married for multiple oh, decades and yeah. I'm funnier to my wife now than I was before because you get just sillier. It don't. I would say don't worry about it. Yeah, if you are truly it. have a funny aspect to you, it's like gum on your shoe. Did you ever go through phases? You're like, I don't know how to do this. I, you can't get rid of it. So if he's truly funny, he's he'll be fine. That's my honest advice. Do I agree anything? with Dana. Oh. If you if you have the sauce, you have the sauce, girl. If you don't have the sauce, then you don't have the sauce. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if and you to that, I say, and people always worry about will my partner get unattractive over time. It's like, this guy's worrying, will I not be funny over time? It's a good thing to think about because he wants to be attractive to his partner by being fun right. and funny. And I think if you yeah. want to, you're always trying to, you, you, you've turned it up a few percentages for someone you're with because it's fun with them. You have a good back and forth. I like that Sarah referred to him as girl, just affectionately. It's very British. Now you listen to me, go, you know? You're funny. You, you listen to me, bird. This little girl. Okay, here's if there's a if there's an aftershock today at the read through meeting. This is Lord Michaels. Um, Sarah, do you have anything for Ryan? Um, interesting. Uh -oh. There's a tremor. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit of a tremor. It's that thing of like everybody go find a desk. Um, well, there's only one desk. <laughs> it's going down again. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Here's my. Here's my impression of the um they're recording the the intros during the aftershock. Okay. Um <laughs> She's and, and your and your host, Ryan Gosling. Whoa. <laughs> Here's Lauren. <laughs> That's it. Um <laughs> uh, what the fuck? That's my that's my just mine is like quick one. Sarah, what jump on me and save me from breaking my bones. Jump. You should jump and tackle him and go, Lauren, are you okay? And he goes, Sarah, there was nothing's wrong. And you go, thought I heard a tremor. And then you just show yeah, your as loyalty. An excuse to attack him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll let her go. You've got to go right with Bula. Yeah. Bula Thanks. Bula. All right. Can you text him for me and tell him tell him I'll be a bit late because I was because of us because of our shenanigans. Yeah. I'm stressed always, Dana, and I want to eat stress free. I want to eat stress free this spring with Factors delicious ready to eat mm -hmm. meals. Yep. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted. Dietitian wow. approved, ready to eat in just two minutes. That's great. That's what I hear. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like calorie smart, keto, keto protein plus, vegan, veggie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> also discover more than 60 add-ons every week, breakfast, on the go, lunch, snacks, mm -hmm. beverages to help you stay fueled, mm -hmm. feel good all day. What are you waiting for? Get started today. Fuel up. For your springtime goals, get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factors ready to eat meals so you can get back to doing what you love this spring. Looking for gourmet meals? Try meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon. I love shrimp. Yep, shrimps. Mm -hmm. Truffle butter, broccolini, and mm -hmm. asparagus. Yeah. I will say a lot of restaurants try to push broccolini like it's broccoli. It is not. It's good. It's just not. 
So yeah. when they go, there's your broccoli. The, huh? Yeah, I, I don't. don't like it. Well, we shouldn't say we don't like it for no, this I'm ad, saying, right? <laughs> it's just different. Yes, it's not. A lot of people mm -hmm. like it better. No fuss, no muss meals. Factor meals eliminate the hassle of prepping, cooking, or cleaning up, David. Simply heat and savor the good stuff. Yeah, you can tailor it to your schedule. You're a busy guy. You don't mm -hmm. need you don't need to screw around. You customize your weekly meals with the flexibility. You 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 know, two minutes you can always find. Mm -hmm. You can pause, reschedule deliveries to suit your lifestyle. Factor um, is your solution for fast premium meals without the need for cooking. Mm, we're celebrating Earth Day all month long. Look out for Earth Month Eats badge on the menu for our lowest carbon footprint meals. It's Earth Day month already? April. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Head to factormeals.com slash superfly50 and use mm -hmm. code superfly 50 to get 50% off your first box, plus 20% off your next box. I love everything I'm hearing. That's code mm -hmm. superfly50 at factormeals.com slash superfly50 to get 50% off your first box, plus 20% off your next box, while your subscription yes. is active. When they say, oh, these girls are funny, but are they pretty? It's like, no, they are, and they're funny. So it's more going on which is always nice. I like girls that are a little lighter on their feet, women. Mm -hmm. You're not even supposed to say women anymore. You're supposed to say elderly women. Well, you're my say... sister, who's, <laughs> yeah. You're supposed she, to remember, say. She's, she I'm says stuff <laughs> like, you got to admit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> I said, take it out because it just sounds, I was trying to do a stupid joke. It sounds bad. Oh, sorry. It was... Go ahead, bud. Uh, my sister always says, and she's in her 60s, she, always, she said about Ryan Gosling, she always says, you got to admit he's really good looking. Just a funny figure of speech in the beginning. She goes, you got to admit, Dane, he's really good looking. You, know, you got to admit, I mean, no one can You got to admit, I mean, well, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I get, um, I, I, I said on a podcast or somewhere, when people say you're actually kind of, cute the actually is in all caps and so i would say it now when people dm me if they want attention they go you're actually kind of hot and then i go oh this is like a thing that i said mm -hmm. and then i'm supposed to go oh arf yeah. arf am i really your hair looks good today though. i know i know you said i know um, so fast <laughs> did i did i uh, mutter i know yeah i think you did because you were hard. saying i know to something else and i said your hair looks good right when you said that Oh, well, I have a protocol. It's pretty consistent. <laughs> <A> protocol. <laughs> yeah, that's what you your know. hair care system is called. Dana Carvey's protocol. I like the color. <laughs> color looks good. Well, once I, got, once I got rid of the bangs, I mean, the bangs, you have to arrange them and do all this work with bangs. No, bangs are... And then yeah. once you just went back like that, then it's like, okay, hello, Sally. By the way, I think in all my dating experience, no girl's ever said, I'm looking for a guy with bangs. Bangs is sort of, a, oh, you are? I know, but Paul Heather McCartney kind of has bangs. Um, you know, Jeff Beck, God rest his soul, had bangs. Yeah, bangs. Jagger has maybe, bangs. Maybe they're back. I don't know. I, I, I sort of like them. So, well, long hair. Let me tell you what's going on briefly. When I'm in traffic, and this is not even funny because I have such a bad temper. Mm -hmm. When I'm in traffic, if, and you might think of this, when I let someone in, my precious spot in traffic when they're trying to merge mm -hmm. right. and they don't wave to me. You're lucky I don't have a gun in the car because I, you have, what happened to waving? No one, no one gives, I do it all the time. I go, Hey man, just to diffuse being gunned down because I know how infuriating it is. So I go, Hey man, I even go with the window, get a little out there because I want them to know, okay, you know, because I know it makes me so mad. I'll follow them if they don't wave, waiting for a wave, minimum 100 miles. <laughs> Going, I'm sure you forgot, but I'm here whenever you're ready. And they don't care. All right. I, I like to hear about your etiquette. Here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. On receiving or the attack mode, mm -hmm. you're at a stoplight. There's a car in front of you. It turns green. They don't start moving. You know they're checking their phone. When do you blast on the horn? One second, two second, give them three seconds. 
And And then sometimes you blast them, right? Yeah. And then they flip you off. Uh, Now what? Even though you're just reminding them to get the fuck go. Now you're stuck. Because are you a pussy? Do you do anything? Do you just eat it? Yeah. Or do you have to ram them? What about when you're on the phone and it's then you realize you look up oh, and scream and didn't move? Well, in LA, people yeah. don't know this. You have to time out your beep when it turns green. So it goes, green. Because people are like, fuck, I, I literally, it hit my eye that it's green. And now I'm going. And I it took too long. Guess it. Well, Guess I have it. A, horn, a horn setting that it ramps up. So even when it's red, it's starting to rumble. That's it's a digital thing. Listen, how about this? Hello, sharks. Why don't we have a horn that's a friendly one, like a little thing on top of it that goes, me. That just means, come on, just letting you know it's time to go. You know, it's not a full, (laughs) you know, like, by the way, in a a non related story, my, my Land Cruiser. Has the pussiest beep. It goes like this, meep, and I and it's so when I'm so mad, I go meep, meep. You almost can't hear it. Dogs are like this. So that's why I want to switch the horn to like. I really want it to be angry, like people go, "Oh shit, I did something wrong." I've never. I don't use the horn. I just roll down the window and go, "Egg, move it, fat face." You don't say fat fuck. I like fat face. I don't want. I don't want to swear on yeah. this podcast. Oh, I know. I, do. I I'll take care of that. Okay. Okay. It's, move on. What's our first story? And then we'll get right. off the phone because we're already long. First already story is hours. about. Okay. Here it comes. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, what is this massive? Oh, Dana. Remember, I was saying it took a turn the other day. Right. That actually doesn't have anything yeah. to do with this. This is just another boat where all the power went out. It didn't do anything, but maybe there's a, there's something to it if they lost control of their ship again. So maybe that is mm. someone electrically, and I don't want to talk too much lingo here, someone electrically through oh, the gotcha. protons. A force um, field, someone yeah, from another someone country. Just can, can shut off your power, and then mm. it makes you, you're going to crash into something eventually. All right. Is there anything to that? Oh, look at how low I am in the screen. There I go. So yeah, kind of interested. It's in definitely that. interesting. That happened twice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I need the, a lot more information to have an opinion. <laughs> okay, I'm just giving you this. Now we'll go go to the 99 cent store one. That's a really, this is a hard hitting story. I love 99 cent yes. stores. Even if I'm on a budget, I'll pass them. And if you wait long enough, you'll hit a 98 cent store. So it's smart. But these 99 cent stores were everywhere and they're all closing. And you know what I saw in one, Dana? A, uh, mm-hmm. the, the weirdest thing I saw was the early pregnancy test. This is for a girl in a regular pharmacy going, I think I'm pregnant, but I'm not spending more than a buck to find out. I'll just wait. It'll figure itself out. <laughs> well, I, I just, I'm, I don't like the 99 cent store because I loaded up on the dollar store stock. And oh, you then did. Ninety-nine cent came in and completely oh. obliterated the dollar stores. Uh, at least half of them closed within a week, and there's rumors of a ninety-eight cent store, but I don't know if it's true. Are people waiting That's for a ninety-eight cent store? They're <laughs> sitting on their cash, going a dollar's too much. I just much. want to remind the audience: these are not pre-planned bits. <laughs> just, these are not written by like professional super- writers for weeks. These are just. Yeah, I did not. Yes. Yeah, so I'm um, kind of sad because this is, I think a lot of people go to these, including me, and dollar stores. It's just good to have. I mean, mm-hmm. let's be honest, not one thing in there is 99 cents. I think we sort of we sort of gave that up a while ago, but it's still, it's it's less expensive. Right. And I don't know it if It just I sounds that. good. Like, Mo, yeah. do you remember Motel 6? Mm-hmm. Did you have those where you grew up? Was Motel that $6? 6 and now it's like. It was yeah, five ninety five when we were driving to Montana, seven of us in a station wagon. Motel six, it was six. We didn't. I did and not. Heather six, didn't know that for six, sure. We did not know that. What's that meant? I did not. I thought it meant six. Yeah. I no, don't know. It was six dollars. I, I I don't know when it went to six hundred, but yeah, look it up. Because I stay at the Motel Four six, Seasons six nine thousand, and I didn't know what that meant till I just got my room. 
Mm-hmm. Well, the bar of soap was about this big in the Motel Six, yeah. and the towel it's was a potato like this chip. big, yeah. and the bed was like this big. It was really good for tiny people, but yeah, it was pretty low, low. But it had TV. You, you know? know, when I got Silver my spoon. call, this is kind of a lie, but when I got my call about SNL, I was home at Easter, and I just started staying in hotels, and I stayed at a Motel Six, and I got the call in the in the room. In the one on Scottsdale wow. Road, and I and I, I would I would the bigger story is I should I should have been staying at home, but you know my mom gets up at four thirty and she starts clanking pans and so and I'm on the couch so I said I'm going to treat myself to a Motel Six, and that as a strong memory for me of mm-hmm. writing down, the Ken A Mong deal of whatever I was you know going to do for four shows at the end of interesting. the interesting great story everyone just went to sleep or we spiked down. Okay. Oh no, we like we like uh, we like David with no money. That guy. This is no. a weird story. <laughs> you know, what I mean? Canadian man. Uh, has... I've not. Se- I have not yeah, seen. This. Yes, okay. I saw this and I just sent this in. Canadian man has two healthy fingers amputated mm-hmm. because he identifies as disabled. Now, this has to offend disabled people. I mean, this just seeing it. It looks like a little bit of that Joder, you know, when you go like this. But I don't think that's what he's going for. Why mm-hmm. would a surgeon do it? Who would do it, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's his I wishes. I have no take. On I have this. no take what? other than I'm perplexed. Yeah. All right, young man. Uh, let's see if we have gangrene or some kind of infection on these digits. Well, they're perfectly healthy. They're perfect. Cut them anyway, Doc. What? I said cut them. He's got like a junior John Wayne. Slice them. Slice them good. But there's nothing wrong with them. I identify as fingerless, bitch. Oh, my God, God, Dr. David. I would say just go to 4th of July and try to not get your fingers blown off with firecrackers for about three times. And the third one, it'll probably happen anyway. This is what happens to people, and they're sad all their lives because of fireworks. But I don't know. I just This just struck me as a story I thought was, maybe it's not real. If this is... Let us know, people, if this is real or not. Maybe it's um, one of those fake. We'd ones. have to know if it's, unless it's someone trying to kind of make a joke on how far can sort of, you know, people go. go or something. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. I agree with you. I don't know. Do we ask uh, the peanut gallery? Yeah, what peanut gallery. Tell us on YouTube comments. I read those comments. Dana, they're quite surprisingly mm-hmm. positive. Oh, this is I funny. All, my info from you. all right. This is funny we because we were talking last week about <laughs> the crime. And I think I mumbled, where's Charles Bronson in Death Wish, that old movie where he would fight crime? So someone oh, yeah. made someone all these made posters up cool. from different uh, things we said on the show. This is just one of them. Isn't that funny? Uh, well, you, and you know, it's done by AI. I mean, he's literally talking into a Oh, maybe someone did that and said, make me a poster. Yeah, maybe. But I can't remember. To the, the AI. Name. or Because it, it's so good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, AI Photoshop. Here, man. That's like my headshot from my la- from like Emperor's New Groove or something. But I don't care. I I'll take it. I like it. I think it's funny. And well, I if sh- they put you in an action film, they'd make you look like that. <laughs> he you has know, give you long hair. He's, and, he's yeah. tired of everything but his blow dryer. Am I holding a balloon <laughs> or is that a street lamp? That's a street lamp, but oh. it looks like the AI made it look like it's a balloon. God damn. I yeah. Think it's a balloon. Okay. Well, I'm on the move. It's cool. Okay. What's next? I like that one. Hmm. I had hey, to learn. Hey, ¿qué pasa? Oh, hey. hey. ¿Qué pasa? Is that what they say when you walk into yeah, sushi? I think that's what's happening in Spanish. Que oh. pasa? Que pasa? David Aspero. I had a difficulty <laughs> learning German in high school. It's a very tough language. Hmm. Uh, I did it through that textbooks is... and a teacher. I would have rather had Rosetta Stone. You know, you not being able to learn German is very, very interesting. But stupid. <laughs> but stupid. Now, Rosetta Stone <laughs> is the most trusted language learning program. We know this. Available on desktop mm-hmm. as an app. Truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. Yeah, this is um, planning a trip to Italy. And um, I think Rosetta Stone is my ticket to uh, a speak a better language. Hey! Hey, I want a pizza pie. But I'll be saying it in Italian. Hey, I want a pizza pie. 
Sounds like that's better English, but it's still that was. They Italian. say, "Do you want to sound We're perfectly gonna lose fluent, or do you want to sound like Ratatouille?" Honestly, trusted experts for thirty years, David, with millions of users in twenty-five languages offered. You want to hear some? Yeah, the Spanish, big ones. French. Oh, Spanish, a French, Italiano, German, Korean, Chinese, Chinese, careful, Dutch, <laughs> Arabic, <laughs> Polish. Fast language acquisitions. Rosetta Stone. Should I read that straight? <laughs> it's, it, it immerses you in many ways. No English translation. So you really learn to speak, listen, and you think in the language, Dana. That's yes. the hard part. No, I do like their process. The intuitive process picks up a language naturally. First with words, then phrases, then sentences. It's designed for long-term retention, David, because we all took Spanish in high school and all we can say is donde esta la biblioteca. Yeah. I can find a library, but nothing else. Rosetta Stone is a game changer. It's like having David. a personal trainer for your accent. <laughs> it's convenient. We said the desktop, the app options, audio mm -hmm. companion. You can do it offline. Um, it's amazing value. Lifetime membership has all 25 languages. Mm -hmm. For any and all trips and language needs in life, that's lifetime access to 25 language courses Rosetta Stone offers for 50% off. That is wow. a steal. I'll Whoa. say that in English, a steal. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, Superfied listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash superfly. That's 50% off, unlimited access to 25 language courses the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash superfly today. Oh, this is a story Look I want to tell you what you thought of this. Mm -hmm. So Shohei Otani joined, this is a, now sports. Um, he, <laughs> oh, right. he is on the Dodgers now right. and he, yes. and he um, got his first he's home got run. Got $700 million deal. He's the best player in baseball. Yeah, best player in baseball. From by Japan. Far, by far. Yeah. He's from Japan. Mm -hmm. He Shohei Otani. He hits a home run. Someone catches it. I think he and his wife, they immediately get security and scuttle them downstairs, right? They hustle them underneath mm -hmm. and they say, hey, Shohei would like that ball. So we're going to give you like a bat and a glove. And they said, maybe we would just keep it. It's worth a lot. And they said, no, mm -hmm. we won't authenticate it if you do. So before you leave here, you tell us right now, what are you going to do? So they couldn't even consult with anyone. It was a little bit of bullying, I feel, because they wound up getting a little bit of merch. And then they talked to a baseball collector and he said, oh, that's immediately worth fifty to $100,000 right away if they wanted to sell it tomorrow. And why is it worth so much? It's his first home run as a Dodger yeah. player. Mm -hmm. Was that why it's worth so much? Because he's yep. hit hundreds of them, I guess. Well, it's his new team and wow. his new deal and his first home run. And first is always a big deal. So what did they end up doing? Did I they think they got back? a bat and like they? they gave him some like popcorn and a pinata. It was something stupid. And then they, I think they said when they left, they just gave it to someone because so many people were following them on the way out, like, what did you get? And I think they got nervous and gave it away. This is part of, this is probably a lie, but that's well, what they're on the jumbotron. So everyone yeah. would have seen them. Right. Right. So they've been tagged. Yeah. They, they could, and people are drinking, going out through the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. They, <laughs> could, their lives could have been. And they were sitting danger. with Fernando Valenzuela. Do you know who that is? He was an old Dodgers pitcher. That was sort of legend. And mm -hmm. they wouldn't let him in the yeah. room or sit next to them to help them figure out what to do. So all of it was just sounding a little shady, like we're not going to authenticate it so you can't sell it. So just give it. Every, everything was pointing yeah. towards just give it. And they didn't get to think. All right. That's a riveting story. Okay. Cracks are back, Dana. <laughs> okay. I know you've been it's, saying this forever. Yes. Um, <laughs> we've come a long way. I think Chris sent me this. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, did you send this in? Cracks. This, if you want to do Johnny Carson, say cracks are back. It is the perfect That's phrase. That's an easy one, yeah. To do Johnny. Have you heard cracks the news about back. cracks? Cracks are back. Uh, not to be confused with Cracker Jacks. So, I know. It sounds like I want a Cracker Backer for Grant. Uh, those whatever. dresses are Cracker. what I'd wear to so, a chiropractor to say, what does my spine look like? 
I gave you a clear view. Yeah, you could get a masseuse and just unlace it, get the massage and lace it back up. There's a lot of practical things going on with this look. When you go into Saks Fifth Avenue, you go, I'm trying to show my coccyx in a dress. So can you dress me so I... Excuse me, is this cracks Fifth Avenue? (laughs) I'm addicted to crack. pun is always fun. So can you put this something? Yeah. So listen, I think... We spent some years trying to cover up the bodies. Then we take, then we, then we don't cover them up. Then we cover them up again. So it just goes in a flowing fashion roller coaster, right? Well, I was around for the peak of the feminist movement. The biggest story of the 1970s was the feminist movement, not Vietnam, not Watergate. It was a huge movement. Gloria Steinem was one of the leaders of it. And I just think putting her in a time machine. 35 years later, thinking women, equality, they're not going to be objectified. And then <laughs> cracks our <are> back. <laughs> and she's like, like, she probably starts oh scre- boy. Screaming, well, no why? One's listening. God, why? Be why, like, why? Why? It's like Heston and Planet of the Apes seeing the Statue of Liberty. Why, God, why? Oh, uh, that's how you do. Know. Nicolas it, Cage well, says that too, doesn't he? Well, that's what I said that he. He is a horse whisperer to this to the Biden staff when Biden starts wandering around the stage and mumbling and they have so much anxiety. They bring Nicolas Cage in just to release the stress. So he's one. <laughs> oh, Mo, he's off script. He's wandering around. Nicolas Cage goes, OK, why? God, why? And it calms them down. Oh, it does. OK, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it calms them down. All right. Show uh, quickly. There's cracks one back. I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. Show I, the trash think, one. Uh, they're... By the way, while we're waiting mm-hmm. for that, Dana, look. Here's Dana White sent me a little meteor, and I put it in a little Joe Dirt wagon with my Lego Joe Dirt I got from Disneyland. Why? No, What's I went to Legoland. And they go, hey, oh, we knew you were coming. We made you a Lego Joe Dirt. Isn't that hot? It's got a mop. God, on this podcast, you got movie posters, you got you got gifts from Legoland. <laughs> it is kind of it's it's uh, quite this, something. This when do I get a ham sandwich? <laughs> there you go. So I got it. a gift. I got a honeydew. Uh, uh, clean the kitchen. <laughs> I got a new Hobart. That's not Mew. True. my wife's saying. Mew. Okay, uh, <laughs> what is this story? Do you know what the story is? Can you guess? Um. I'm trying to read it. Disguised as trash, trash bag, a package from home. Is that the a guy? Because that's not all. Steals like a porch pirate. It was cut off, but this guy dressed like a trash bag and walked up quietly to someone's porch and put it over the package and then stole it and went back out to the street. (laughs) Isn't that kind of cool? Dana's floored by this. It's <laughs> well, wait, wait, what did say that one more time? So he puts on a <laughs> costume of a garbage bag. That's him. It's a suit, okay. right? And then he just goes like a cartoon okay, yeah. and he comes up and then he puts and he it over. Him, yeah. And picks it up and he goes beep, 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 beep. And, he, and everyone's like, is that trash? So they looked at the ring footage and it just a trash bag goes up the sidewalk and then goes back down. And they caught so him. So he just, what, does he see the footage and then laughs his ass off? Or what, what's the joy the guy for that, him? The guy that is in the house getting his shit stolen said where to go. And oh, he okay. played it back and he saw the trash bag <laughs> stealing it. And the guy stealing it gets to steal the package. That's right. What yeah, the guy stealing it gets to steal the package. Oh. Okay, because I didn't, I didn't see the whole byline. So it's a thief who's disguised as a trash bag and just creeps up, steals the package and creeps away. Yeah. Okay. And that's a new, interesting way to steal. Well, this is, here's the, here's, here's my hot take. <laughs> if he's that clever, mm-hmm. he probably could make a lot of more money yeah. in other ways. He a job. <laughs> if he's that, he's building I mean, this contraption. Can, like we should it's have got to be the right size. This could he's have been for move a, in the Brian, way. Brian Gosling. Yeah. We should have pitched this sketch. There you go. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's but all we I have, Dana. What do you think? We've gone pretty late. Mm-hmm. But what do you think? I know. We did pretty good, though. Uh, I've been reading. I've, I've been reading spiritual books. Eckhart Tolle. Um, he's a little German guy, mm-hmm. and he talks very slow, and he stares into the camera. Yes. And he sort of smiles. The whole point of life is to live in the moment. 
and that's what he's he's written like 10 books he's worth 80 80 million dollars just don't think about yesterday or tomorrow i'm ecatole and i thought damn that's a i mean so i'm writing a book called life is a shit show get used to it good night <laughs> life is a shit sandwich take a bite um, but you know, I was thinking about gurus and stuff. Yeah. The guy does have great ideas. I mean, there was Ram Das and gurus and, and I think per capita, the most gurus seem to come from India, even if they make their way to America mm -hmm. and what they do, I think intentionally is they grow their mustache over their mouth. So it looks like they're telepathic. So it'd be like, I want to tell you <laughs> that we are doing many things in the name of peace. Hey, wait a minute. Are you are you are you telepathic or are your lips moving? you I can hear you. It's a good question. Of course you can you can, you can hear me, mm -hmm. but you can't tell if it's me yeah. talking. Sideways on is good. of my long mustache. Well the mustache seems to move every time you talk. That is just mm. random wind. That's wind. I will. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> a, they all beard too. It kind of blends into the beard. It's all nothing. <laughs> You're hearing my thoughts. <laughs> Why are your fingers moving? You're hearing um, my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I wish I could talk. I can't anymore. I can only think and you can hear me. <laughs> See from the it side, it's very much. I have the answer to everything on planet Earth. Now give me a million dollars, you <laughs> fuck face. <laughs> Finally. But I, it all, money always comes Finally into the a gurus. Word. The, mm -hmm. the gurus are always yeah. good. All these people that I'm going to save you and save your spirit and soul. And there's always sex comes into it at some point. They're like, oh, we worship you. You're the new Messiah. Right. I will be having sex with everyone. This is just something I'm getting from above, and it's just nothing. It's not anything to do. You don't have to worry about. We will be having sex with the, my choice of people every day, but we're all still part of the group. That, we're still... that, that seems to be, I don't know if it's a cliche, but it does seem like eventually you find out that the guy is really horny. Yeah. So he's up there preaching, and I believe that men and people and mankind and peace and lovely and live in the moment. Yeah. And now... I would like you to approach the altar and squat on my lolly jumba. <laughs> oh my what? Lolly jumba. Oh. The girl's like, what am I, I doing? Want... <laughs> uh, squat okay. on my lolly jumba. Right. I mean, it's basically a blowjob. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> listen, I'm going to point to the crowd and then give me a little money. I mean, give, you know, the whole spirit a little money after. And they're like, wait, I'm a pretty girl. I hit, I do the lolly jamba, and then I give you money. This feels a little backwards. No, I don't make the rules. I shave my mustache, so now I just hold my mouth in my mouth. We, we, you can't tell if it's just me talking to you. Look at my eyes. <laughs> Look how big they get. No. I have all the answers. Oh. Now give me a million dollars. Give me that golly bomba, jumbi jamba. Get on that thing. It's good. Well, we've, op we've emancipated ourselves. We do any character we want. I like that. Bali Jamba. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess the people have had enough. I just got a message. Uh, the I audience has had, had a... enough. I, I think so. It's two hours a week of us now. With Fly on the Wall Jesus and Christ. Superfly, you can spend 7% of your waking <laughs> of your life to, <laughs> to hear our yeah. random shenanigans. Yeah, that was a good one. Well, we want to thank, we want to thank Sarah Sherman for popping by. Sure, Sarah Sherman. Thank Always Ryan fun. Gosling for quirky, maybe doing our sketches. And, um, and if she, she'll tell us if she does the head thing, I think she's, she's so quirky. She would him, jump on that. that that's know. something right up her alley. I think Google could write that. Yeah. And I think, we will excise it if she uses it, but I do think surprising him on air. That's the thing. That's you funny. Know. This has been a presentation of Odyssey. Superfly is executive produced by Dana Carvey and David Spade. Charlie Finan of Brillstein Entertainment. Jenna Weiss-Berman of Odyssey. Heather Santoro and Greg Holtzman. Hope you liked it. Mm-hmm.